given um, it being in the university, we do have the practice of no solicitation. And I understand it's taxpayer building, but those are the um, practices prescribed by the president's office. It's not something that I set, but as my job duties are, I yeah. need to help. And what if we do not comply? So um, that's a good question. If you don't comply, um, then uh, I would need to ask. You know, I would probably reiterate once more. If you choose to not want to, then I would need to um, ask you guys to leave. And I hate to do that, uh, but again, using event services, there are certain prescribed practices that we ask you to follow. And if you don't, I mean, it's just like any space that you go to a theme park or you go to, you know, a sporting event. But it's not over private. Those are not private. I'm sorry. Those are private topics. Okay. So, so I mean, it so, might be a policy. I just, I want, just, see. and what if, right, right. and what if we don't move still? What if we don't leave the public area? If you don't leave the public area, uh -huh. then I'll need to um, speak with my executive director, and we may need to um, call uh, OUPD. And again, I would hate for it to escalate to that. What would OUPD do? I can't tell you because I'm not them, but we have had instances like this in the past where we politely ask the group to move across the street to use city property and not. Baker Center and its protection. Because we uh, we are we were in dialogue with our attorneys and they said that this you guys cannot put like you guys just can't define soliciting as whatever is convenient. Yeah, it's, we're we're talking we're talking to our attorneys, so we'll let you know. I'm I do I I'm curious what you guys um, how you define solicitation because there have been other groups here that are actually like selling things that have not been shut down so it's Correct. not it's just not being it's not being applied consistently and so we just want to make sure that there's no discrimination going on sure so we're just going to talk to our attorneys and make sure that you know everybody is okay. is clear with with what public universities can do and can't do right i understand i certainly understand you know I mean? that the difference between from uh, the perspective that we enforce the difference between selling something and soliciting would be kind of going out to someone without them kind of coming to your table. And it's something that we ask all of our table reservations to do. Um, my coworker, uh, Heather Thomas, had worked with the group organizer and had um, documented, like, okay, we have your reservation on our books. These are the types of activities that we need to tell you to adhere to. And again, that's we were kind told of the liberties of using event services. We were told that we can't solicit Correct. Yep. or disrupt the educational process. And yep. whenever I thought she was talking about soliciting, yep. I figured she was talking about like the constitutional definition of soliciting. Sure. So soliciting is simply to, to pass things out and that's something that event services and the university has kind of checked around and take the center. So for. nobody is allowed to pass anything out yep. ever. So, so yep. we asked on this space, we asked that our table reservations you can certainly stand behind your table, you can stand in front of it, smile, whatever, that's great. I know people want to get their word out, but going up to people, passing stuff out, that's something that, okay. no matter what group, not discrimination, yeah. something that we have. We're just going to make sure. We'll talk to our, our attorneys and we'll just make sure we're all on the same page and, okay. and it'll be and good. Because it it's a public happen. university, you know, uh -huh. you're rubbing up against free speech, so we just want to make sure that everyone's free speech is... Sure. Is protected, right? Okay. I mean, yours, mine, everybody. So. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And, so. And I hope it doesn't escalate to anything. But again, yeah, me too. To what? But escalate to something that we would need to ask you guys to, to leave about. And you said if we don't exactly leave, that, I you, can't speak to that exactly. I'm simply. Well, you said you were going to call, but you said it might escalate calling the police. For if, if certain circumstances speech. happen, although I didn't provide any specifics on that, and that you know if again if it continues, I'll 